evening. It's that time again. More rest and evil. And this time I won't accidentally hit the enter button, thus causing the stream to end. <laughs> um When we last left, we got past episode one part one. Tonight, we're gonna play as Barry again, because it's his turn. And yeah. I unlocked all the skills. The BP stuff. That's Discord. There we go. Now it's a whoopsie. Resident Evil. Earlier today I wasn't feeling too good, so. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but we're gonna try. Now, I won't lie, I'm late streaming because I was playing raid mode. Yes, I was playing raid mode, and so I'm late streaming. I unlocked countdown mode because, see, your extras that you get here I mean, this, this game is awesome because of the fact that... Oh crap, I got a bunch of BP now. Hmm. Whatever. Um, that's probably from... Raid mode. But look at this! There's all these things you can unlock, right? And you have to use BP to get them. Then, you have... The unlockables here. So it's like, well, we could get this Claire figurine. Actually, you know what? We'll just get all this stuff. And then you can convert your BP into raid gold, so you get raid golds. But look, you got stuff in raid mode. This game, like, I'm surprised that the game gives you so much and rewards too. I love it. Also, the game has two endings. So after we beat the first ending and we do those, these uh, little things here, I'm not going to do these on the stream. These two there will do. We'll have to play the game again. We got all the skills. It won't make a difference, but hey, whatever. But yeah. There's there's a lot in this game. This is a good game. They packed it up with replayability to get you hooked. Previously on Revelations 2. Claire Redfield, you're coming with us. Where have I been taken? So much There's the overseer, voiced by uh, the lady who voices the major from Ghost in the Show. Barry is voiced by a guy who needs tons of uh, things. Tons of anime. Like 490 credits what? on IMDb. Please have me play as Barry. I don't want to do the clear stuff again. That was annoying. The fire pot thing was not fun. Diabolical sometimes dop the appearance of good and even embody itself completely there. Okay. Moira was trying to get to that tower. When I was with her. Listen, honey. I need you to take me there. Can you do that? Mama. And here we are. No, I don't believe it. There's no way she's... Oh, you see that thing there? 
that is a larva. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to that, am I? I don't think I can. See any bricks because she's got this power here. Oh, I also updated my NVIDIA broadcast, so hopefully we're not going to have an issue where the sound cuts out. Because it sometimes fights with some games. Not all games. Some games it fights. There's a brick, I think. Yep. Nope, 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 nope. Bug. Nice. Well, we got one. In order to get some secret files, you have to get all of them. In Claire's thing, there's a uh, hidden Kef Kafka bioluminescent stuff that you have to shine your flashlight on. It gets secret files there. So and I also believe the emblems. No. Moira was nice. <laughs> she does have a good heart. I bet she saw a little of Polly in you. That's her sister. Where'd you get that bracelet? I don't know. A woman used it to talk to us. I think. I'm not really sure anymore. A woman? The oh, overseer? Nice. I read the debrief about her little experiment. Man, he kind of was punchy on that experiment. Why are you letting the little kid lead? Because, why not? She has the ability to see bad guys. Barry does not. Barry does have the ability to break crates, though, so... No, oh, here's a note from Gabe! To any friendlies who find this, We've been adopted against our will and forcibly taken to this island. Our names are Neil Fisher, Pedro Fernandez, Edward Thompson, and Gabriel Chavez. I don't have coordinates conor for our location, and I don't know if anyone else is here with us. There's something out there. I can't make it out if it's human or animal. I can hear feral... Vicious growling. At least multiple potential hostiles. We've been outfitted with these unusual devices on our wrists. Got a transmission from an unknown female telling us to go to Vosek. Not sure on the spelling. If you're friendly, who's... If you're friendly, who's reading this? Meet us the, at this Vosek. Be careful. Or be safe. Be alert. Jeez, Chavez. Okay, back to you. We are definitely on a Russian island, and I don't speak Russian, so I couldn't tell you what that says. I don't read Russian either. It's not, I don't read, I don't have the knowledge of how to translate it. But here we go. This is Barry of episode two. Barry, look. And we are gonna make our way this way. Oh, the look was there's a body there. That's a terror safe person. But Boy, they've been here for a while. I mean, after all, it was six months, right? Edward Thompson. 
It was with Terra Save. <sighs> Damn it. This is why I told her not to get involved. So with the points that we spent, we got an upgrade in this. Um, she's like 200% effective. I'm not even going to care about Larva yet. That might be an off-stream thing, just for myself. You know, because you, you gotta be able to experience the game on your own, too. Some over there. Find some cover. I'll pick them off before they spot us. Nice. That was, that was pretty cool. Find some cover. What does she do? We're just gonna run right here. The uh, hidden things are just kind of like extra flavor. It's not. I don't think it's going to be too earth shattering if, if I read them on stream or not. Plus, it's more incentive for people to get this game, which is amazing. I mean, if you like the original Resident Evil games, Revelations 1 and 2 are just really good games that. While they have some action, I'd say it's close to Resident Evil 4. It's not that constant action, 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 5 and 6 at. Maybe we have this section here where she can spot them. And we sneak up on things. That's cool. You actually pick up files in this game, and they're references to Kafka. Metamorphosis. We're still not the fishing town, okay. There's something ahead. Be careful. Man, I wish you could mark them. That would make it even cooler. But... Hey, it's Gabriel Paradis. How you doing? Thanks for the host. I really appreciate it. Oh shoot, that one's funny. Gotta get it before it becomes gross if we kill it. Yeah, you were uh, really grilling me on different Resident Evil lore. Which is fine. Well, we've got the standard zombie. We've got infected people. I'd say the standard zombie are those like skeleton looking ones that you saw yesterday at the beginning of the stream. And then later on in the stream we had the infected people who um Claire and Mora had to fight. You have those weird like pieced together bad guys. And then we have a large guy with the hammer. Be careful.
Well, I don't want to go there if they're crawling off it. So we've dealt with just a few types. Oh, and dogs, but they're I not uh, furry. I have beaten all the bosses so far up to this game. I've been playing it in chronological release order, so all the games that I've played up to this point, I have I fought the bosses. The uh, only thing I haven't done is the newer games and a Game Boy Color game as well as a 3DS game. That's because I don't have a way to capture the video from those. I mean, sure, I could use an emulator, but that just doesn't. Uh, from the first revelations, when we had the uh, Mayday Mayday guy, I considered that a boss at first. Uh, then we had. The weird, like, oyster lady. This is a weird boss. Um, a giant whale. I'm trying to think, because it's been a while since I've played Revelations. You know, because it, it didn't just, like, come out right before this game. Yeah, there was the shark. There's something ahead. Be careful. Get that foot. Well, these are the weird things that are like pieced together. See, look, that thing has like three hands. And they're, they've got like the leech tendril thingies that we saw in Resident Evil 4. Or no, 5. On the uh, Ouroboros. The leechy type bad guys. So. Something tells me that whatever this virus is they're using this is based off of the virus in Resident Evil 5. Well, in 4, you had the village chief who turned into a centipede. You had the, uh, I'd say it's a boss, but it was kind of more like just an enemy. The guard for Salazar. The giant plant. Not Salazar. Uh, whatever that dork guy was. That small, tiny kid. So that definitely wasn't Salazar. The Lord of the Castle, basically, that guy. We had a plant. We had to fight a plant. We had to fight the regenerators. I think the regenerators are kind of on boss level. Krauser. Yeah, we definitely had to fight Krauser. Hey, Leonard, how you doing? Need your help. That should get us through. Where is she? With five, we had some, uh, we, we had the Ouroboros. I'm doing better. My stomach was unhappy this morning. I think it's because I ate too many cashews. Because apparently, um, cashews are not very good if you eat them in large quantities. Um, let's see. What other bosses can I think of? 
Uh, we had the Gigante too. I count that as a boss. No, it's still stuffed up. You get stock in Resident Evil Games oil field because of someone. Cool. So Leonard, I I don't have unlimited ammo, but I did get all the uh, skill bonus stuff. Oh. Good old six. That oil field business in that game was... Nah. Of course, that whole game was just different from Resident Evil games. You. Do you see anything? So Leonard, I think I might have to play this game twice to get the good ending and then the bad ending. Because apparently there is a good ending and bad ending. Also that rock looks like it's gonna fall down. Is that where you met Moira? Over there? Yeah, near the big tower. Um, 10 hours, but you know that, like, the second run's not going to be the same as the first. I'm gonna definitely cheat the second run. Hmm. Was it five that had? Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be infinite ammo. It might be infinite ammo. What? Where? Um. It might be infinite ammo. No, I don't. But I do see that. That was not a thing. Oh, darn it. We have an invisible monster we have to deal with? This is not going to be fun. My dearly beloved, this is a female vill villager's letter. My dearly beloved, it has been a year since you left to go to work in the mines. I thank you for your service, and of course, I am thankful to the one who gave us this opportunity, and the one who saved us from despair. You were supposed to be gone for only a year. That was the term, yet you have not returned. Why? Well, Six kind of had like an oil refinery at first but you um you end up being in a lab so i think maybe that's what you're talking about unless you're talking about four four had a oil refinery type of thing a lot of the plago mercenary guys it was an oil rig though it definitely was a factory not just for not just you friends other villagers, they disappear and never return. 
I've heard rumors of poison gases and beasts and unspeakable horrors, and I don't want to say what else. I hope you return home as soon as possible. I'm waiting for you. Oh. So this game, though, as I started, I was late. Not because of my stomach being upset, but because I was playing raid mode. There's, there's a lot of replayability in this game. They have an invisible zombies one. Yeah, I think I know what part you're talking about. Oh, okay, we got that there. There's a, a countdown, like you have a timed mode. Yeah, then that would be Resident Evil 4 is the factory, and there were some cheap chainsaw type bad guys. Four had some cheap moments. My vision's getting kind of... nah, that means it's close, buddy. It's gotta mean it. Barry, there's something right there. I don't know what you're seeing, but point me at it. It's getting closer! Monsters. Oh, oh my gosh. That thing is so weird. Headshots. You gotta do headshots on, on most of those guys. Because when you do a headshot on them, what happens is you stagger them. So they'll kind of stop for a little bit. Be careful. Oh, those are the mines that we left. I'm amazed at this mechanic that we have going on. Invisible monsters that she can see that we can't. Um... Yeah, there's a bat thing. It's like a bat worm. You see that right there? That's a larva. That I didn't hit. Grab that. No, grab it. Ah. Yeah, that bad boss is on a truck. That that boss is hard. Hurry. Dare, shoot! No, dare, shoot! You dare, shoot! Dare, shoot! Oh. Dang! That is so cool! And terrible at the same time. But cool. Like... Leonard, I, I don't know if you've played this one, but... I really think that this Resident Evil game... Oh is worth the time to play. Like... You could forego playing 6 
and play Revelations 1 and 2 and have a better narrative than 6. And I'm not trying to dog on 6. 6 is good in its own separate little category. Somebody really trashed this place. What the hell happened? Oh, here's Pedro's notes on the bracelet. There were guys on bikes in Resident Evil 5. And he had to shoot them. It was uh, an interesting thing. I mean, you couldn't shoot them in the first instance. So you had a quick time event, right? But then you got on the back of like a Humvee or something, and that was fun. That was awesome. But then in six, they decided you need to do that a lot more, and that kind of cheapened it. The bracelet. What I've learned so far. There's a GPS tracker inside, probably for keeping tabs on where we are. It's a two-way transmitter. We can hear her, and she can hear us. The source of the transmissions is coming from the center of the island, someplace high up. It's gotta be that funky-looking tower. I have no doubt she's there, too. It also seems to be keeping track of our vital signs. For what purpose? She wasn't kidding when she said she infected us with the virus. Holy balls, what are we supposed to do? So here's my theory on the virus in this game. Is that um, it's injected through that wrist thing? I think I could be wrong, though, but when we watch people in their uh, uh, transformation so far, it, it seems to be that their wrist. That that arm, where the wrist thing is at, is where they start to change. Yep, there was that big spider. That was a cool scene too. Five had some neat set pieces. The spider boss, where you had to, well, partially cool. I thought the mechanic was kind of dumb, but. Putting the grenades in the spider. That was meh. The fight between Wesker and. Uh... Yeah, that was the spider. Uh, the Wesker fight with Wesker and Jill. That was not fun. I did not enjoy that. something over there yep there sure is oh we haven't hit it yet cool oh we definitely hit it that time The Popo come on, I have no clue. I never bothered to learn the names. I just uh, know that I think I have. I'll have to check. Um, let me see here. This would be a good time to mention as I take a short break. Not only do I have a Twitter page where I post when I'm uh, going to go live, but I also have the YouTube page where I put all my VODs up there. Resident Evil 5.
that is the wrong video. Don't play that. Yeah, man, I, I have punch That's a boulder on there. If I remember correctly, the way this works is that we fight harder. Yeah, because it's... Let's see here. Is that lost the nightmare? Yep, yep. Okay, it's on there, man. Find you on Twitter. Well, I don't, I don't know, like, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta help me here. Like, what's your, uh, your thing on Twitter? Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you follow my Twitter, I post when I go live. I also post silly stuff every once in a while. I am not very serious most of the time. All I ask is being nice to people. That's a very cool thing. Yeah, I saw it. Sent me a notification. I don't usually have notifications on because it kills the battery on my phone, so it just pops up on the computer. I really like these annoying invisible monsters. I know it's probably going to get to be overkill, but look how gross they look. It's like a dragonfly thing. Yeah. You're welcome, Leonard. I also try to name all of my streams something, uh, dumb. Uh, it's Gabriel Paradis, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, you're making me look it up. Look, there's Discord. There's my Steam. Bunch of other crap that's open. Here, in case you're wondering, you know, you can always look at what your profile says your thing is. Your... That's your name on Twitter. That's you. You get a lot of followers. Cool. Anyway, we're going to go back to playing after I put the game back up. Okay. Just had a fly fly in my hair. It's kind of annoying. That's the wrong way. That's the right way. So here we are, making our way to the city. Moira might have been here too. This is uh, just interesting. Because this is six months afterwards, which makes sense why those... Uh-oh. What happened? Okay. Why the uh, zombies are kind of deteriorated. 
I don't know about the There's other one. Be careful. The dog. That was a dog thing. Big dog. Blind cave. Not blind caves. Naked mole rat. Something. I haven't put any of the revelations on here yet. Or revelations too on the YouTube channel. And I uh I have a playlist that's the zombie love bites one. And it's up to like ninety videos now. I think it's ninety. And it's every Red Evil video that I've done so far. I thought that was pretty neat. I mean, I'd probably get more people watching. Are you going to be warm enough? I'll be all right. No, they don't. I think they're dead? naked cave rats. They died in Terra Grigia. You were there. When Terra Grigia. I'm sorry. None of this could have been easy. You're a tough girl. Thanks. Oh. It's on people like me to protect people like you from bioterrorists. We shouldn't have let you down. So where'd you go? Terra Safe put me in a home. A facility. I'm sorry, Natalia. I won't ask any more questions. So. Oh, cool. We'll have to check it out later. Because for some reason I can't use game capture and like just capture the app. I have to use the full screen capture. Which kind of sucks. On the plus side though, any overlays that show such as... You know, reshade if I use it to show up correctly. So this little girl... Was it Terra Grecia? So we do have a reference to um, the other game. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think it's really neat to have that. I don't know what that is, but that unsettling we're being watched by something but what what's wrong oh, I've been waiting for you nothing can we go uh oh some creepy eyeball saying it's been waiting for us. That's not a good sign at all. Oh. You know, we went up that way, right? I don't think we can get up that way. And we can't get through here, right? We're in the uh, city that... I don't know if you saw last night, but we went through this as clear. That did not work the way I thought it was going to work. No. You're telling me. Be careful. It's its head. Whoa. I gotta say, this is a little bit, uh... A little bit intense. Neat. Kind of intense. Just minding own business. was going to sneak up on that guy. But... I mean... 
it turned around, I guess. They're inside. Be careful. Okay. I think our main goal is stealth. You. Look, it's right there. There's something ahead. Be careful. Okay, we can do this. Try not to use too much ammo. Oh, it's one. Crap. Oh, it saw us through there. Ah. Get it. No. Revelations 3 is not yet. I mean, they haven't officially announced it, I believe. Resident Evil 4 remake, that's coming. Oh, yeah, the six month thing? So, when Barry went to the radio tower, that message that Moira sent saying, come and get us, blah, blah, blah. Well, that was from six months ago. So we are like six months ahead of Claire and Moira. I want to go up. I don't even know. Also, can you spot some stuff, please? Hmm. We would need a drill to get in there, okay. Is that a red thing? Resident Evil 4 Remake probably comes out next year. I don't think it will come out this year. I think they're still busy with Village to do any other new ones. But one can hope that they'll be like, oh hey, by the way, we made a... Uh, We made Outbreak. Come back. Y'all like Outbreak, right? Who knows? Who knows about Rebecca Chambers? Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, because... Um, that happened six months ago. Of Claire and Moira getting attacked. So, he's a little late to the party. Like, by half a year.
The last of Ada Wong that we see so far, that I know of, is Resident Evil 6. Now, she might show up in some other game. I don't know. I have not gotten there yet. But I can tell you. Her last story stuff was the other. He is. Oh, he's, uh, well, time-wise, he's ahead of them, right? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, thank goodness. You know what? I don't even care. It's your head. Okay. You guys are so annoying. Don't you hurt her. The last we see of Jill Valentine for right now is Resident Evil uh, 5. We'll see her in uh, Resident Evil 3 Remake, but that takes place far earlier in our story, so... Still wondering how the world like, gets back to normal after Resident Evil 6's events. Not the, uh, you know, giant B.O.W. underwater part, but the fact that part of China got messed up, right? Last we saw of Leon was in Resident Evil 6. He's, uh, He's a cool dude. We'll get to see him again in the 2 remake, but we're not to that one yet. Okay, Barry. Back to using the Samurai Edge. Oh, nice. We can at least get this. Okay, and such a neat mechanic for lock picking. She can carry more now, yay. Oh, thank goodness. I would rather not have them at all. I mean, the shake the stick thing, that's kind of been a thing. Spencer died in five. We've not seen, you know, well, not Spencer. Wait. Yeah. I think. Isn't that the main dude? There's something ahead. Be careful. Back. I don't know who Ethan Winters is, so I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. I mean, next you could be like uh, Mia or James Baker. I, I don't know who these people are. I mean, I I 
do know they're in Resident Evil, right? But I couldn't tell you hind or hair of what they are. I've had that game um, a couple months after it came out, and I did not get very far in it. Because I played other things. And now, since Village came out, I decided, and that's that's actually why I did the Resident Evil run, is I decided, you know, I should play those uh, Resident Evil games. Crap. Fictional characters? No, they're they're all real characters, right? Lady Dema De Demagor what in the world? Oh crap. Uh, is it thrown its Oh no. No, no, no. I think it was its arm. I think it, like, regenerates its arm and then tosses it. Yeah, it does. SARS? Like, the bird flu? Do you mean stars? The strategic and blah 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 folks. What's your favorite Resident Evil, Gabriel? Which one do you like? Oh, nice. There's the box that we did yesterday. Uh-oh. Barry, there's something over there. Barry? Why can't you see very good, Barry? I kind of like how we are just going back through the same Barry, stuff. There's something over there. Oh crap. distortion is so cool and annoying but cool stars was a good concept but you know they moved away from that since they're no longer Raccoon City right so Chris and Jill and Wesker and Barry Well, I'd say they're kind of different, right? Because... We've got weirder mutations and... I mean, I don't know, like... It's not too different, is it? It's cool, but it's like we're just going through the same places with some changes. Like, oh, hey, this box is open because we opened it. I wonder if I had left whatever item was there, if that would have left it for Barry. Uh, 
Umbrella is the best pharmaceutical company ever. Okay. I hate to use this weapon. Actually, no, we can use this. The whole concept umbrella was pretty funny. They're a pharmaceutical company and their entire goal was making BOWs. Like that that's what that was their business. They made BOWs. Barry was in shock, but he is going to try to find her body, I guess. November 8th, 2009. The latest mock moved us even closer to the real test. This time, 11 candidates were fitted with the sensor bracelets, then subjected to extreme emotional stress for varying lengths of time. Results? The three died immediately. The remaining eight eventually mutated at some point and were disposed of. The trial ended with none of the subs overcoming their fear. That's a terrible psychological experience. We don't know. She might have seen her die. I don't know. Oh, we're so close. Right? Like, because there's the possibility that she actually saw her die. Or she thought she saw her die, right? Yeah, so the police, they really didn't do too much. I mean, Resident Evil Revelation, not Revelations, uh, Outbreak had police, Raccoon City had police, but police really haven't been, like, a big factor in this series. Yeah, I think with her being with them before, maybe she thought she died, or maybe she was told that she was died because, or died because remember, we had that scene with the helicopter near the end, and she was grabbed by somebody. We don't know who. So again, um, the good cop from Resident Evil game. Besides Leon, well, you got Marvin. Marvin was such a good cop. It's unfortunate what happened. And then we also had uh, Kevin, one of the survivors of the outbreak. So since Natalia, that's her name, right? Natalia. Since she was with uh, with them, she could have been kidnapped and then told, "Oh yeah." No, Steve wasn't really a cop. He was a Okay, so Steve wasn't a cop. Steve reminded me of those guys that you know that are like into being awesome with guns. Like they played Call of Duty and stuff. Only Steve actually got to live out his dream of shooting guns, right? Poor Steve. Yeah, there's the dull mines. Man. 
Kevin. I think Kevin's probably the only one you really can like since uh can't really classify Leon as a cop anymore. I'm hoping to find more ammo. I don't want to use the Magnum because, you know, the Magnum is special. Yeah, that's weird. Uh-oh. Well, I hear it. Oh, it's up there. Damage two. What do you have? Damage one. Oh, we could put damage two in you and make you even powerful. No wait. Is that seven hundred? No, it's a nine hundred and seventy. Leon's. Not a cop after the first game. Good. Let's pick up the pace. He worked with the government and then BSAA kind of. He worked with the government. But yeah, I, I get it. Barry in this game is not voiced by. I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be the, you know, remake Barry. He's voiced by a guy who does a bunch of anime uh, voices. Need your help. So, uh, Which favorite uh, Resident Evil game, Gabriel? And Le Leonard. I am interested in. Original RE3 or remake RE3? She's brick. I thought she had a teddy bear. Original was was good. We'll have to see. I mean, we already know that the remake does not have everything. The clock tower is not in there, but it should be interesting. Yo, I need your help. Barry, there's something over there. Hmm. Hey there. Haha. <laughs> you like Resident Evil One with all the zombies in the mansion? It is a good, good game. with all those zombies in the mansion.
Okay, let's not go that way yet. I don't know why, but I think that kind of voice cue just screams bad guy fight. Ah, that mechanic with the, what's it called, is so weird. I mean, it's, it's neat too, but. Like, there's the fly thing right there. And as we get closer to it, our vision gets more distorted. And. The sound gets muffled. Written in Russian. Town residence note. Your father hasn't come home at all since going to the monument. I tried to wait, but I can't do it any longer. I've gone off to look for him. I was feeling pretty anxious, but everyone there was so nice to me. They told me something nasty was going around, so they gave me a preventative shot. And this bracelet <laughs> that they said would help protect me. Oh no. Uh, this place is so large and wondrous. I've never seen anything like it. Of course, this is probably no big deal for her. She saved her island. I'm starting to feel like she can do anything. I regret, re regret ever having doubted her. I suppose it's nothing, but I've been feeling a bit dizzy. Maybe I'm just stressed. Oh, and I finally found your father. Well, part of him, anyway. I always knew he had a good head on his shoulders. Now that's all that's left of him. I can't possibly bring him back like this. This bracelet has been making strange sounds. It's a little annoying. Don't you worry. I'm going to find the rest of your father and we're coming home. You must be so hungry. Okay. Uh, that was a little, uh, dark turn. Hey, I found your father. It's just his shoulders. Yep. Nothing diabolical about that. Or sad. I want in that door. Nope. Oh. Okay. No. Oh, that sucks. It's locked on the other side. Okay. Time for a little sneaky sneaky. Let's have a little friend here. And... Throw it over there. Do I not have a bottle to make a thing? Because that would be so awesome. It's getting closer. Barry, go shoot it before it wakes up. Wait. Did she... Wow! Uh, yeah, she can die. I can't believe it. She actually knocked out. Thing. With a brick. A brick killed it. Well, it took like three shots with the pistol, so I don't think it's like the strongest enemy. I think it's more of a nuisance enemy than anything, right? We did all that just to get a herb, some ammo. Yeah, overall, it was still pretty cool.
Okay, so we have rifle ammo to load up. We've got the assault rifle, we've got the magnum, we've got the samurai edge. No, too much ammo. Where are you? Okay. Well, I think we have enough. So we're going to go up to Creepy Town over here. There are no virus infected people in here right now. I say right now because they could. Ch oh. Oh, man. Well, I don't know how bad this is going to be. So. Barry, go get that ammo. Wait. Well, that's one hell of a parking job. Are you seriously pushing out there, dude? That is... That's not very bright, right? Just wake up the entire village of zombies and B.O.W.s. It'll be everywhere now. Our goal is to get over that way, right? Because that's towards the tower. However, we can't do that yet because of plot. And we haven't fought a boss yet. This little girl has some arm on her if she is able to lob a brick and take out a thing. No. Trying to get one of those swords. Thank you for that. No, don't be here. I don't want to die. Oh. Give me the drill. Nice. Well, this should give us a whole lot more options. Ah, Barry's got jokes. That was different. Different type of fight. We're okay with it though. You break that? Good job. That way she could be like, I'm helping. Who would get ominous thunder? Well. I was thinking it wasn't going to be that guy, but uh, Gabriel. You mutated like right after crashing, or right before crashing the helicopter, right? So, so 
I think... Minus a few issues, Resident Evil Revelations and Revelation 2, two point. This has been my favorite so far. Oh, man. This guy's got the same exact bracelet as you. Moira had one, too. Like sisters. Hmm. What kind of messed up experiment was this? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good save, Barry. That was, that was a dad moment, I think, you know? That was good. I, I really like that. Was... Okay. I don't get the footprints. Maybe it's for secret things. I I don't know. There's that building that we. Me and Moira got separated friend. here. The nice guy came and got me. Nice guy. The one from Terra Save who rescued me. Oh. I wonder if Moira made it to the tower. She made it. Come on, let's see what we can find. Yeah, so I don't believe Moira being dead yet. I think maybe we we know who took her though. Greg, the founder of Terra Save, took her away from Claire and Moira. My question is, why? Also, look at that nice Soviet block star on there. You know, the old country. Which means that thing has been there for a while. Because the Resident Evil universe is, you know, the same as ours to a point i would think that ussr is no more right that right there is that the hydra logo no well i hope chain or the drill guy is the only thing we have to fight Of course, you know what? Maybe this island has the been just like changed. Um Yeah. Pretty creepy, huh? Oh, I see one. Maybe the island is kinda like the stories where you hear like, you know, the World War Two soldier has been on an island the entire time. And he doesn't know that the war is over. Maybe they've been stuck in the past. Oh, look at this. 2010. 24th of January. Trials for the T-Phobos virus are almost complete. We've managed to reduce the lethality of the T-Virus while creating the condition that it triggers upon the target being subject to strong emotional trauma. We've also lowered the rate of viral resistance to below 2%. All is proceeding as planned. However, the time draws near. We are close to perfection. There's zero margin for error. T. Phobos virus. Um. Natalia Kill. Nat. Natal. Nat hey, um. Your name's on this wall here, girl. And there's baby heads. 
that's always a welcoming sign. Welcoming, welcoming, welcome sign is doll heads and other creepy tiny things. I love it. Need your help. Oh, oh. Nice. I don't even care about BP. Well, we do, because I can convert it for raid mode, which I think we might play a little bit of that after this episode, just because I don't feel like jumping into the other one. I mean, we spent an hour and 27 minutes just with this berry stuff, right? So... More creepy dolls, but hey, there's a note over here. Parting words to my dear father. You poor, decrepit old man. And you wanted to create a new world and rule over that world as a god. But for all your ambitions, you couldn't overcome man's most formidable enemies. Age and disease. You had everything, but your crumbling body betrayed you. And then your own son snuffed out whatever pitiful entrails of life you had left, leaving you to become nothing more than a footnote in the annals of history. You failed, old man. But fear not, your dream will live on. I will take the wealth of knowledge, power, and test subjects you have given me, and succeed where you have failed. I added the if. I will create the new world, and I will rule over it as a god. Your legacy will have been, have been long forgotten, but mine has only just begun. May your soul, if you ever had one, rot in torment for all eternity, and let heck be filled with the sound of your teeth gnashing incessantly. Well, that was very friendly to write to your father. You know... Not very respectful. Not very respectful in the least. What the world? Hey, is that thing alive? You walk past it, I don't want to touch it. Okay. Jeez Louise, this is... Creepy as all get out. Look, there's caskets. There's these dull heads. You know, that's one nice thing about this. I've never seen any of this stuff. Because I've avoided spoilers and stuff. We already had that in Silent Hill, what? Downpour? No. Homecoming. We need to beat the crap out of that thing, too. Wesker. Oh! She's so scary. I can't stand her. Who? The woman here with Wesker? That is Wesker. Oh my gosh. Alex Wesker. Alex Wexer. Wesker. You gotta be shitting me. There were 13, I think, Weskers. <laughs> oh crap. So you finally came. Oh my gosh. Is that Alex Wesker? Natalia.
It's 11.13. I don't think I can get past Claire's next chapter. In that time. Next time on Revelations 2. Wait. This is Moira's. No. No sign of her. Uh, of course this factory had to be a fucked up factory. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. It's got all our names on it. I'll crush you. Where did we go wrong? Where's Moira? <laughs> Dang it. This cliffhanger stuff is annoying. On one hand, I want to find out what happens. On the other hand, I don't want to stay up until 1230. <laughs> right, an hour and 12 minutes. Yeah, so... Uh... I don't know what that weird, uh, what's its name? Oh, I guess this one thing's called Revenants. So yeah, I don't... They are. And I'm kind of drawn into the... What happens next? Oh, this sucks. Well, what's the worst thing that would happen? <laughs> I want to find out what happens, right? Previously on Revelations 2. Mother of both! My life is awesome! That bitch stuck a needle in me? Yeah, yeah we took out that guy. See? We're like sisters. Claire, we lost the girl. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. Barry, there's something right there. Wait, well, that's one hell of a parking job. Me and my I got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Two Weskers. There was like 13 Weskers. Spencer was trying to, um, groom the Weskers into being the next Spencer. Or something like that. And only two survived. Alex Wesker, who has been on this island this time, right? So... Um, doing her own thing, and then, uh, oh, crap, I forgot his name is, Albert Wesker. They're adopted. Claire, They're not even, luck? no, we haven't. No. We've just heard the it's voice never. of her since the start happened. of the game. And if I had to guess, I think that one thing is probably right. her. Look, but I'm not sure. Someone left a message. It says, head for the factory. And on a scale of bullshit to believable? Neil wrote this. It's legit. It's not legit. Neil wrote it. I'm sorry, but Neil... Bad. Neil's bad. Don't trust Neil. Crap and a half. Well... Hey, at least we know that this shotgun wasn't for I can't Wesker. We lost the girl. I didn't even ask for her name. She might have just taken cover. We can look for her as we go. Wow. Okay. Oh, that's ominous looking. So, uh, Claire, why would the boss come here? I don't know. Neil just does things sometimes. <laughs> well, 
my opinion is that uh, we should not trust Neil, like at all. But I could be wrong. I don't know why, but like just the whole him conveniently getting away and the fact that he took Natalia from Claire and Moira, like that doesn't seem right to me. That was a nice shot. So, yeah. Here we are at a factory. What? These chapters are long, but there's only four episodes, right? So if everything is an hour long, there's four episodes, that's eight hours. Where all things come to an end. It's her again. Ah, oh, this is like Saw. She's got eyes everywhere. Something's not right about this. Be careful. And I'm not really like saying that's bad either. I think it's it's really neat the the catalyst for this the the thing that I don't like is that we don't have a fear meter. That'd be neat. This is Neil's. Behold Prometheus, who was bound to a rock for stealing divine power. That's nice. Where's Neil? If you want to see him again, you'll have to brave the scaffold of the gods. Okay. We gotta hurry. Neil needs me. He needs he does? you. <laughs> Let's search inside. I don't I don't think Neil a needs you. scanner in a factory? God damn this. He's not going to let us through. Which means we need someone else's eyeball? Yay. Man. So we have a Wesker. And you know what the drawback is? I don't I don't think they make it. Which is sad. Because uh the Wesker thing to me is uh, the neat concept, right? The only thing I could think of is if they're like, oh, we cloned a Wesker. So, uh, yeah, he's back in Resident Evil 10 or something. That's the only thing I thing I could think that they could do. She'd be like, oh yeah, we can clone people. Because we're Umbrella. Or better yet, Jake becomes Wesker. Like, somehow. They uh, inject him with something and then poof. Because after all, if we follow the concept of um, six, right? The C virus made that one scientist into Ada Wong, even though she wasn't Ada Wong. Now, who's to say that they don't have some virus that turns Jake, even though he 
can't catch a cold or anything. Uh, just to say they don't have something that makes him turn into Wesker. But instead of him being a bad guy, he's the good guy. I don't know. What? Then again, who's to say that they're gonna actually, uh... What? No. Bad. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he, uh... He did not die. That's... That's not cool. I mean, he died that second time. I want to shoot this so bad, but I won't. I don't... Okay. I, I don't know what your ornate looking door is saying, but I found the toilets. Well, why not? Oh, I just realized we don't have any healing herbs. Ooh. That might be bad. Oh, that poor person. Better be Dornil dead. I swear. You said us. Yeah, you did swear. Your dad wouldn't like that. Uh oh. He didn't dissolve. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's her swearing needed? I don't know. Did it add anything to the story? Besides rebellious teen. Or not teen. I don't know how old she's supposed to be, but. stuff here because he's gonna turn into a boomy guy and I don't want to be chased down by it do something okay fine Oh, there's something shiny. Oh, of course this factory had to be a fucked up factory. 
It is. They did a good job with this. Yeah, some of the music has been a little repetitive in some spots, but not like in the annoying way that 5 had, or 6. I like her opinion. Oh yeah, this had to be a factory. Of course it had to be a factory. It just wouldn't be right without being a factory. Cool. Oh. Claire? Nope. Look at the ceiling. I'm not gonna look at the ceiling yet. We're gonna go into the bathroom first. And then we'll look at the spiked ceiling of death. Oh, an herb. Cool. Let's go get that. Son of a gun. And my inventory is full. Yeah, that was a waste of ammo, but I want the herb. What is this? Like a Kafka drawing. Find all six and you get a free prize. Okay, let's go into the room they kind of teased in the next time scene. Oh my gosh, it's spikes. Some of them are bent. So, uh... Okay, we gotta think this out first, and I I'm sure that, yeah, like, they, it was nice. There's an artificial eye, and there's a key. Now, we want both, because I'm pretty sure that key opens up a place for us. We want the eye, because we need the eye. You take the eye. We chose poorly. Check it out. It's got a key in its ear. Let's find a way to pry it loose. Key is no good. It's stronger than it looks. I don't know. Interesting. Well. Um, that was cool. Let's do that again. Oh no, it's closing on on us. So we need a rusty shotgun. Right? I forget you, I'm not. So, yeah, that was very cool. Hi. What's gonna happen when we get this here? Oh. Oh shit. I really don't think we should go any further. Right. No sudden moves. Let's back up and think this through. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, Mora. 
Who has the full inventory? Oh, I have the full inventory. Moira, guess what you get to do? It's this one. Lost in the dark. Shed some light on your situation. Oh, why, thanks. Stay there. Roger. Okay. You stay. Bum, 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 bum. So far, so good. Just gotta follow the footprints. Yep. Oh gosh, where'd they go? Oh, they're turrets, okay. So we're gonna get gunned down if we don't do it right. Wow. That was neat. We used to have stuff like that. Like, oh crap, now we're gonna get attacked by stuff, aren't we? I'd say so. It's to the strings. fan run you okay there yeah you're okay I'm gonna start making you run into those things my goodness I mean, yeah, it was predictable on the puzzle, that right? I don't know but at the same it time, it, it was cool. There's like no denying that. That was pretty cool. Oh. Um, well... We had a combination screen this entire time. Do I actually have a red herb? Son of a gun. Yeah, it's not really a puzzle. I mean, it's not like things. It's like the rusty shotgun. But at the same time, it was pretty neat that we, uh, good capacity but it's not as powerful as this um goodbye shotgun oh nice <laughs> we're not totally up a creek uh oh moira look inside that corpse is that what i think it is like danger who is making those noises that's what's this supposed to be looks like some kind of body part it is 
It's a liver. And there's a map inside of them. Great. Here's where the waterways under the factory connect to the tower. But that asshole statue is blocking the way in. The gods punished Prometheus by sending an eagle to eat his liver. So... Ah, now I know what this is supposed to be. A liver? You better not have wasted... No, you didn't. That's right, because I got that thing. Shoot it. Come on in. The laser pointing part was cool. The eye thing, like the little crushing ceiling, that was silly. We've seen it before. You know, I like the de decoy bottles. Those are nice. Did we just seriously take a... No, okay. We'll have to remember that for next time. The design of these places are nice. Like, I really like it. Neil, where are you? Neil, what about the girl? Hey, we're not done with Prometheus over here, right? Yeah, so we got its liver. A liver short. Then let's find it. But we gotta go in here. Ah, uh, it smells like cow shit. They must have kept animals in here. I wonder if she's gonna be like, "Wait, well, I don't need animals. That's terrible." I do, though. I eat animals. Owls. Not... Yeah. All animals. Just the tasty ones. <laughs> if I read this, is that guy gonna come alive? Also, look at the rusty spike thing over there that looks like it come down on us. Written in Russian. Factory. Chief Str Oh! Did we miss a file? My factory is ruined. Ruined, and it's all thanks to her. What the heck is the meaning of all these traps she set? She says security. I've never seen security like that. What the heck is secure about any of this? I can understand that. That's, you know. But I don't eat like exotic animals. Cows that were raised to be, you know, beef. Pigs? Not so much though. I don't think I can eat as much pork stuff anymore. Chickens. I like chickens. She's got some twisted ideas in her head. It must be her parents' fault. Who knows what kind of horrible abuse they subjected her to. Really bad abuse if she's a Wesker. I gotta watch my temper. I went too far, started yelling at her. She showed me, though. She reneged on her promise, and now she's running the show. 
I don't want to piss her off anymore, so I kept my mouth shut. I know my place. And that place is staying alive. After all, all I have left is my life. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, Barry. Good luck on those. <laughs> I guess I missed a diary somewhere, but that's okay. Oh, his little blemish thing went away. Okay. We're not gonna blow up that. We'll see if it's there for Barry. What if I don't pick this up? Do you think Barry will get it? I don't know. I don't care. I have a feeling that we are going to need healing at some point. Okay, so those things didn't come down. So that's fine. That guy's still there. That's not good. Did that guy dissolve? No. That's also not good. Because I'm pretty sure our way out is that front door. I am expecting a boss fight it's at some point. In for killing livestock. How many frickin' filet mignons do you have to make? To produce this kind of blood. Well, dear, I don't think this is the same type of slaughterhouse as, you know, that would make filet mignon. I'm pretty sure some, uh, very unethical stuff would have happened here. After all, we are dealing with, um, The overseer. Oh, crap. Don't say something's coming. Oh, what in the world is that? Is that... It's the barrel, dude! Yay! I don't like that guy. And our, uh area to fight him in is not as open. I mean, we've got some spots where we can, like... Oh. Best run. Where are you? Oh, boot. Where is he? I doubt he's gonna get in this blood with us. Really? I'd say this is a boss fight, maybe. He does get in the blood, okay. I should not be using that. Oh, crud. Well. I knew I needed that. Like a boy scout, I was prepared. You gotta be prepared. What? No. I didn't know the stairs were there. I made a mistake. You could at least... Jo oh crap, he can shoot through there. You guys could have at least shown him on the map.
Barry did face a boss. Uh, not in the first chapter, right? But in the second chapter, we did. We fought um, the drill guy. That was basically a boss. And I unloaded the magnum into him. Which either was a smart idea or a dumb idea. We won't know yet, <laughs> but we'll find out. Yeah, that guy was... that was a boss. Hey, Claire can hold more crap. Nice. I feel like Animal Crossing now, right? I can hold 15 items. We're gonna write a letter to Barry. Oh wait, wrong game. Okay, that guy was boss-like, but... Is that a boss? Oops. Nothing says creepy like a food processing plant factory. with ominous sounding music. Okay, while well, you're doing that, I'm going this way. We didn't check out this door. And we need to. Also, he didn't drop anything cool, which is kind of sad. Nope, need the slaughterhouse key. Oh, fun. Well, I apologize to anybody who's squeamish about what we're going to see. I mean, it's already bad enough we've seen splayed pigs and pools of red liquid, but it's a game, it's not real. I, for one, wouldn't be able to put up with that stuff. Real blood and me do not mix. Like, it, it makes me queasy. How oh, fun. They got faces on them. Uh oh. Okay, you. Stay there, Roger. We can go over here. We're either gonna die or something. Yeah, good job. Take that. Sure. No, that was the wrong way to go. <laughs> I forgot you can crouch in this game. Okay. You wait. Stay okay. here. Yeah, you go like that, and I can duck under them. See? Safe. Totally safe. Oh, wait. No, we're not. Now we're safe. So what's gonna happen here? They not like break each other? Huh. Then what? I mean they won't go off the rail, right? See I tried to dodge, and that was 
not the best way. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So, um, we died. I didn't mean to die, but it happened. Oh, fun. Meat grinder. I see something in the tank. This is so like saw like, right? Yeah, just break it open. You can't. Make your decision, do you, you know? Is that a switch over there? Did I pass a switch? No, but I'm gonna have to do this just because. why they put all the spikes on it? Like, it looks like some punk kid did it. Now you can't break it. She can climb up here. There's a valve. Nope, nope, nope. I mean, I get, I get the saw type of thing. And saw was actually gross, but kind of cool in the first movie. And I guess the second movie. But then they just kept recycling the whole concept and it got sequelitis. I haven't seen at least two of them, I think. But I've watched because, you know. Could use your help. I apparently watch weird stuff. And the first one was so cool too, cause like it was just set, you know, in that cellar, basement thingy, whatever it was. And that twist at the end. It's like, wow. And I didn't even know that the guy in the first movie, until later, um, the doctor guy was actually um, from Princess Bride. And Robin Hood Men in Tights. Okay, so how's this gonna work? Um, I don't, I don't get it. Am I supposed to like mess with the meat here? Any guidance game would be nice. Okay, let's go. Nope. Do I shoot it down? I'm gonna shoot it. When in doubt, fire gun. Ha ha! You have to add more blood? Man, that lady is sick. Well, okay then. Yeah, that lady is sick, but hey. That meat clipped through that window thing. Oh, I messed that one up. This is like... 
Super Mario 3. You gotta press the button until the right time. I think maybe right about there. Did it make it? I don't know. Let's shoot it and find out. Can I shoot it from here? Oh, I can. That was wrong. Maybe if I stop it right at the scaffolding thing. Yeah. Mm. Come on, get in there. <laughs> okay. Next. No. Okay. We can do this. We can manage. We've only got so many bullets from our different guns to shoot, right? They let go. Third time's charm. I'm annoyed by that. Okay. Well, thank goodness another shank of meat came, because otherwise that would have been annoying. Like, no, no, you got all the meat you need over there. What? Oh, I wasted a magnum shot. That's okay. Hey, looks like Barry's got something to deal with later. You guys better not mess me up here. I need you mutating again while I'm trying to do this. Ah, oh, you did, didn't you? Yeah, that's fine, you know what? Oh! Thank goodness. I guess it was a little delayed. Oh! Cool. Claire, something fell out of the tank. Yeah, I saw that. You're very observant, Moira. That's why I'm going to make you an honorary, honorary stars team member. Yep, I'm going to give you a little sticker. Yeah. I, I can't believe that. No. I hear an alarm. Oh, crap. Okay, run. Oh, shoot. Wrong way! No, don't do that. Use this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to catch you on fire, lady. We're good. Come on. We're safe. See? 
Uh, we'll just let somebody else deal with that. I bet when we come back it's Barry, it's just gonna be packed with bad guys. Okay. Okay. This should do it. For real? And we all had a blast. Come on. That was a mean statue. And we had a traffic cam. Instead of a traffic jam. <laughs> okay. Enough. Well the gagging. It's already twelve oh four. Do you know what? I think we just saved, right? So let's quit. Let's see what happens when we come back. Campaign. And campaign. Continue. Okay. Because, uh, you know, this is episode three of four. And there's supposed to be some heavy stuff happening. I don't want to miss out on that heavy stuff. Skip. We don't need to see that stuff. Nice. Okay, so see, we're here. That's good. We're done. What we're going to do next, just for a little bit, is we're going to check out raid mode, because raid mode is fun. And it does not make me hate it. Apparently there's extra weapons that I never bought. Um, they don't really make any sense to me anyway. Because as you progress, you get better weapons. But raid mode... You're this thing and you can pick different characters to play as so look at this ooh they have bonuses of XP and we also got Pedro ooh and Gabe as characters to play as what skills does he have Ground pound, huh? That's fine. We're gonna play as Claire. And I'm gonna show you something neat that, uh. Well, you'll know. You'll know what it is when you see it. Main mission. So look at this. You got these gauntlets that you do through different difficulties. You got daily missions that they have, event missions. We're gonna do Gauntlet 1. Mission 6. Yeah, I, I believe you can co op this. This is a co opable thing. Check this out. A very familiar scene, right? This is that shop we were at in Resident Evil 6. Of course, it's getting attacked by enemies from Resident Evil Revelations, too, but it's really neat. Jeez. That was close. So you can see in the corner there, there's uh, 40 enemies to take out. So, you know, they've kind of taken that mercenaries mode, right? And they've improved upon it. With this, which I really like. I like this uh, concept. No, oh, and I learned something. You can't get headshots on these guys, but if you shoot like right below their helmet, thing. It does hurt them. See that, like, thousand points of damage? So that's something to keep in mind, I guess, for, uh... uh oh, shoot! Get that guy. Nice!
you get those weapons up. Apparently, you're supposed to be able to, uh, like, level up the attachments. I don't know how that works yet. That might be something I need to look into, but really, they they put a lot into this to just play. I think they improved upon the first raid mode and did this. I know, right? But it's cool. I like it. And we haven't even gotten to the part of having those invisible enemies yet. I'm pretty sure they'll show up. We have only killed half of the enemies we need to kill. Sadly, the monsters from Resident Evil 6 aren't in here because it'd be really fun to shoot the fat guys. And other guys, but those fat guys, like... Really made this section tense. And yeah, shock. There's a burn thing. Oh, look at that guy. He's taller than the other ones, so he's got more health. Even though he has more health, he still falls like all the other. Oh, I hear a... A bad guy. Where is it? It's not down there, that's for sure. One thing about Resident Evil 6 is that the locations in it make really good spots for things like this. Like that raid mode. Oh. It's a big guy that got stuck inside here. And you get little medallions when you're doing this of, uh, you know, like not healing. Killing all the monsters. As you saw, there's chests, and those chests are records that you have to identify. No, you only have to kill, like, I think 35. And the goal will sh or the exit will show shortly. Also, those guys that blow up when, uh, when they're shot, they hurt other enemies. That guy has a shield, so damage in front of him is, uh, not as much. Like, freely. See, isn't that cool? Got freeze powers. See, oh man, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, so see, there's the exit, but if you kill these other guys, well, that's. That's like a bonus. Oh, look at that. Then you kill him. You go up here. And you punch that or kick it. Or whatever. Mission cleared. And you also get a bonus if you play it as a uh, recommended level or lower. See, so I got no herb. I did not heal. And I killed all of them. I think there's even a speed thing. You get skill points to level up the skills that you get. And each character has, like, their own skills. And you can inherit the skill, which means that other characters could equip the skill. I'll show it. Very shortly. Man, I thought it was a higher level. I didn't know it was only level 10. Oh, yeah. Focus. I got 
240 spots for weapons because I bought that version of the game. Then we have like a level 8 Samurai's Edge and a level 9. Which you can only equip two weapons right now until you hit level 15 and 61. And then you have these skills here. Exploding bottle. Increase your capacity by 369% when it's maxed. And these skills do different things like, you know, oh look, I have 2,000 extra health. I can carry 9 herbs. And also, when you're doing this, you, uh, you have a store you can use, and as you move forward, or progress, I mean, as you get level up higher, you can buy a higher level. Done. And then you have this where, see, after you do a round, you have to replenish your stuff or find it on the field. And then this jukebox here evaluates these. So it's like, oh, I got fire ammo. So I could, instead of using shock, use fire. Or we got capacity. Which, see, it says a level, but I don't know how to, how to do it. Like, there's weapon upgrading. And then there's this, but I don't, I don't see a way to change it. When you get a weapon, like, see, I have capacity on here. I can't upgrade capacity. Like, I can't add a, tack another one on there. You're supposed to be able to do something to make it cool. Then for your characters, like we got Barry, Moira, who you actually can use a gun. We got Gina, the first person to be, uh, you know, killed. But you get different costumes. So we have for Gina, Lady Hunk, Rachel, and Jessica. On the PS3, or PS4 version of this game, uh, my West Coast a lot higher level. I never actually, like, played, um, the main story. Like, I got bought the game, I played a little bit of the story, and then I went right to raid mode, and was just doing that for a little bit. And we got Hunk. Hunk unlocked automatically for weapons to be held. You have these gestures. Sorry. And apparently, there's a skill where gestures can attack. Nope, they don't. This is separate. I mean, you get things to unlock based off of you know, getting so far in the game. Like, here. You have to... Oh, you have to get the medallions, right? But... You have to be past episode 2 to get this gauntlet unlocked. So that's the only thing. Like, you have to beat the game to get all of the things. Then you have this. Oh wait, let me get back to player first. Wrong character. Now I'm not going to finish this one, because it is one of the extra ones, but... Look at this. We know this room. There's a lot of bad guys here. There are 60 enemies to, to 
take out at this point. Oh man, the recoil on this thing is crazy. And look, they even have their own little buffs. Like that thing is quick and I think poisonous, maybe? Yeah, look at that. Uh, we are in a corner. And we can't get up there yet because we don't have the key. Crap. I don't know. I, I haven't... I, mean, I saw that I was like in an open area in one of these, right? So I think it does have at least Revelations 2 stuff. But um, I, I haven't got far enough to do it. I would assume it doesn't. I think it just has RE6 in this. It'd be neat if it did. Actually, if they put out a version of this that was just this mode for everywhere, like the entire series, I'd buy it. Like, there's no doubt that I I would definitely get it. Nice. Oh my gosh, that is a very long barrel. It's like the Joker gun from Batman with uh, Jack Nicholson and Mike Keep. Yeah, that's raid mode. I am a fan of raid mode. I probably will not stream myself playing it, but uh, I definitely like it. I do a lot. Okay, don't freeze because I turned off the controller. It did freeze. Wow. Well, that's it for tonight. Tune in next time when we play more Resident Evil Revelations. I want to thank everybody who's came by. Leonard, thank you very much. You are awesome. I want you to have a nice day tomorrow. And, uh, as always, as I exit the game so that I can do As always, take care. Bye.